for a year now, for 12 long and 12 painful months, the courageous people of Ukraine have resisted Russia's criminal invasion of their beloved homeland. Ireland stands with them. Ireland stands with you against Vladimir Putin's attack on sovereignty, on self-determination and on international law. We stand with Ukraine's right to endure as a free and peaceful nation. And today's gathering here at the GPO is a demonstration of our unwavering unity and solidarity with Ukraine, with you, as the invasion enters its second year. Vladimir Putin must understand that the international community will remain united with Ukraine for however long it takes to face down his brutal invasion. There can be no victory for Russian military aggression over Ukrainian sovereignty. No victory for a power that brazenly violates international law. So Putin must immediately withdraw his army and end his criminal invasion. And standing resolutely against the Putin invasion, the international community, international diplomacy must use all of its muscle to end this war and begin the journey to peace. And this of course must be a lasting peace based on the values of democracy, integrity and the rule of international law. The people of Ukraine, you, your families, your communities have shown the world real bravery. You've shown the world that you will not give way to Putin's onslaught. Today, against all of the odds, and in the face of immense brutality, you hold your country. Long may you hold your country. I believe that Ukraine will win out. I believe, I believe that its people, your people, will live again in peace and freedom. I believe that those of you who will wish to return will return to your beloved homeland, a free, sovereign, united Ukraine.